So, uh, what, uh, what are you kids up to today? We decide to make a show about music. You know our music teacher, Professor Majorcore? Is he that slightly unusual man in the funny hat and coat we've seen in some of the videos? That's him. Oh, yeah, I remember him. What about him? He's going to help us make our show all about music. He makes learning music so much fun. He'll teach us about different instruments and different musical styles. Excellent. And now, speaking of music, can we take a look at today's music videos? Sure thing. Here we go round the mulberry bush, mulberry bush, mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush so early in the morning. How much is that doggy in the window? <laughs> the one with the waggolies. Here they come, they're back in town. It's the greatest show around, because the circus is coming to town. Professor Major Ward is coming today. Isn't that great? Yeah, I hope he brings lots of instruments. Do you take lessons from him? Yes, I've studied the tuba and the drums. I want to start taking drum lessons, too. Is it fun? Oh, yes, I love it. But you better have a mom that likes them, because they're very noisy. It's showtime. Stand by. Everybody ready? Good. Hassan, let's roll the opening graphic in three, two, one, and take it. Janessa, cue the host in five, four, three, two. Good morning and welcome to the Kids Songs TV Show. The one and only show made by kids, for kids, and starring kids. Hi, I'm Christian Wood of Ventura. And I'm Alexander Paul. And we're the Biggles. I'm Billy. And I'm Ruby. Hey guys, I was wondering, why are you called Biggles? Because we can be big or little. Like this. That must be fun. It is. And here's a really fun song to get our show started. It's called On Top of Spaghetti. What's spaghetti? Spaghetti. It's a fig. Watch, you'll see. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. It rolled off the table and onto the floor. And then my poor meatball rolled on some more. It kept right on rolling on down by the lake. And then my poor meatball passed a cute little snake. It kept right on going and went under the gate. I must catch my poor meatball. What's in all these cases? Magnificent horns and fabulous woodwinds. Exotic percussion instruments and vibrant strings. Wow, we practically have an orchestra here. Yes, young lady, we do. An orchestra is comprised of four sections. The strings, the woodwinds, the brass, and the percussion instruments. Could you teach us about the different kinds of instruments on today's show? Yeah, darn tootin' I can. Do you play any instruments, Megan? I've just started the clarinet. How's it going? Not that well yet. It takes a lot of practice to learn the right way to blow. The fingering is a bit tricky, too. Are you going to stick with it? Absolutely. There's a girl named Jane that Professor Majorcorn has been giving lessons to for a really long time. She is so good. Oh, that's great! When you listen to Jane, you can imagine how good you'll be in a year or two. Right. And when I get discouraged, I think about her, too. It's the thought of being good at it that keeps me going. Neat. Cue the host in five. Four, three, two, and cue. Today we're going to be talking a lot about music. In this next song, you can really hear the flute. I can play a flute. Really? Yes. Wow. The flute has a sound unlike any other instrument. So kids, listen for it in Here We Go Loop-de-Loo. -loop. Here we go loop-de-loo. -loop.
Good morning, young musicians. Have you been practicing your French horn, Katie? Oh, yes, Professor. I can play the scales really well now. What are scales? A series of tones, like this. Brad! Host, we're coming to you in three, two, and... With the drum roll, this next song takes us to the circus. And talk about drum rolls, there must be big drums at the beginning of this class. Yes, those are timpani. Listen, kiddos, they're the ones that go bum, ba bum, bum, ba bum, bum, ba bum, bum. Those are the ones. Listen, kids, you can't miss them. to be crazy? Yes, it is! I'd like to learn an instrument, but I'm afraid I won't be any good at it. Oh, Mark, it's never too late to start something you think you might enjoy. Some of the best musicians in the world are in their 90s. You have your whole life to enjoy music. So you think I should ask Professor Magecourt if I could join a class? Oh, yes, Mark. What if I'm not any good? Mark, I'm 
sure you'll be good. Give it a try. Okay, Ruby, I will. How much is that donkey in the window is cute and standing by? Good. We're coming to the host in five, four, three, two. This next song, How Much Is That Doggy in the Window, has a very simple melody. As most songs with the waltz tempo do. What the waltz tempo? When it goes, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, yeah. There's lots of songs like that. Yes, Billy, there are. Our arrangement features the keyboard. Yet another instrument that I can play. The... How much is that doggy in the window? The one with the waggly tail. How much is that doggy in the window? I do hope that dog is for sale. How much is that doggy in the window? The one with the waggly uh -oh. tail. How much is that doggy in the window? I do hope that dog is for sale. Mister, how much is that dog in the window? Oh, a dog is a very expensive pet, and also a very big responsibility. Perhaps you should look around a little bit. That doggy is twenty five dollars. We'll take him. Yeah! We'll take everything else. And who are you, young man? I'm Mark Humphrey. Are you a student of music? Well, not exactly. Rhythm, harmony, melody, conducting or composition? Uh, I'm afraid not. Huh? Well, we'll have to remedy this immediately. Which instrument would you like to try? Professor, I'm not sure I'm very musical. Nonsense! There's an instrument for everybody. Here, try this triangle. Splendiferous! Now, let's try this cowbell. A lot of us kids study music with Professor Majorcord. And a big part of our study is the playing of instruments. Professor Majorcord always says that the playing side is more important than the study side. Because playing music is what it's all about. So have a look at what happened when Professor Majorcord invited our whole town to play along with the Kids Songs Kids in Come Join the Band. Hear the cymbals crash and the guitar twang. I want to hear your snare drum bang. Raise your trumpet up, hold your sacks down low. Grab your horns, let me really hear you blow. So come on and join the band. We'll be the best all over the land. Oh, yes, don't you want to join the band? 
instrument? I don't think so. You watch. Professor Majorcord will have her playing something by the end of the segment. Hassan, roll the question time graphic. Rolling in three, two, one, and take it. I'm sure you kids were able to figure out who Professor Majorcord was in that video. That code of his was pretty hard to miss. So are his lessons. So without further ado, let's welcome Janet Bates and Professor Majorcord on Question Time. Thank you, Christian. Thank you, Alexandra. Good morning, Professor. Good morning, Janet. Wow, what a wonderful selection of instruments. They are wonderful, aren't they? Professor, I understand that there are several different groups of instruments. Can you explain to us a little about them? Absolutely. Let's start with the percussion instruments. Now, the rule is, if you hit it to play it, it's a percussion instrument. Can you give us an example? Sure. Let's take these congas, for example. Here, you try, Janet. Wow, that's fine. Gee, Professor, you haven't been here for a minute, and I'm playing an instrument already. See, I told you. Yep, that's our professor. Now, another percussion instrument is the tambourine. Part of what makes the tambourine so much fun are these little cymbals around the edges. Now, cymbals are also percussion instruments, and we know that because... You have to hit them to make music. Exactly. Like these. Now, the difference is, instead of hitting them with our hand, we're crashing them into each other. But they are percussion instruments all the same. Are there other types of percussion instruments? Oh, yes. There are ones that you hit with a stick, like a wood block. And there are also ones that you shake, like the maracas. Go ahead, Janet. Give them a try. Hey, these are fun. Yes, percussion instruments are easy to learn and a lot of fun, especially for kids. Now, the stringed instruments take a bit more training. What are stringed instruments? Any musical instrument that makes it sound by vibrating strings, like this guitar. See the strings vibrate? With stringed instruments, the strings are stretched tight over a hollow box of one shape or another. Now, the violin is like the guitar, only different. And it's played differently, with a bow. Isn't it fascinating? Oh, yes, Professor. Can you explain to us about the woodwinds and the brass? Absolutely. Both of these types of instruments are played by blowing. See? On the brass instruments, like your trombones, French horns, and bugles, the musician blows into this little cup-shaped mouthpiece. But with the woodwinds, like the clarinet, you blow past this little piece of reed, and the vibration makes the sounds. So all these instruments make their sound through vibration. A very astute observation, Janet. Yes, all musical sounds are created through vibrations. Well, Professor Majorcord, I feel that we've only just begun exploring the world of music. Unfortunately, our time is up. Well, my young musician friend, I'll come back any time you want me to. Oh, thank you, Professor. I'm sure we'll be seeing you very soon. Thank you. I think so, too. You know, I think I'm going to take up an instrument. Me, too. Oh, great. You know, there's so many of us taking music lessons that we could have our own band. Now, that would be just too cool. And cue the host. And now it's time for the very special part of the show. Billy Biggle Sing Along. You know, guys, I'm really in a musical mood. So I was thinking, how about I play an instrument today and Ruby can show the kids at home the movements to follow along with. That's a great idea. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm so glad. What's today's song? Here we go round the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush so early in the morning. This is the way we bail the hay, bail the hay, bail the hay. This is the way we bail the hay so early Monday morning. <laughs> Good work, kids. This is the way we feed the chicks, feed the chicks, feed the chicks. This is the way we feed the chicks so early Tuesday morning. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, like your This is the way we sweep the porch, sweep the porch, sweep the porch. This is the way we sweep the porch so early Wednesday morning. Look at them go round and round. This is the way we paint the fence, paint the fence, paint the fence. This is the way we paint the fence so early Thursday morning. Oh, wet paint. Don't touch it, you'll get dirty. This is the way we groom the horse, groom the horse, groom the horse. This is the way we 
groom the horse so early Friday morning. Oh, this is the way we milk the cows, milk the cows, milk the cows. This is the way we milk the cows so early Saturday morning. Here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush so early Saturday Okay, now let me see. Oh yes, I can fit you in at 10.30 on Saturday for your first drum lesson. Do I need to bring drums? Nah, you can use mine. Great, see you there, Professor. Bye. Okay guys, we have one more intro to do. Candyman in three, two, and... This next song has some lovely string parts. And a very catchy melody. And some eye-catching candy. Let's join the Kids Songs Kids at the Candy Factory with the Candyman. You can take a sunrise, you can take a sunrise, sprinkle it with dew, sprinkle it with dew, cover it in chocolate and a miracle or two. The Candyman, the Candyman, the Candyman can, the Candyman can, the Candyman can, cause he mixes it with love and makes the world taste good. Who can take a rainbow and wrap it in a side? Soak it in the sun, make a tasty lemon pie. The candy man, oh, the candy man can. The candy man can, cause he mixes it with love and makes the world taste good. Sorrow and collect up all the cream. The candy man. The candy man. Oh, the candy man can. The candy man can. The candy man can. Cause he mixes it with love and makes the world taste good. The candy man can. Cause he mixes it with love and makes the world taste good. The candy man can. Cause he mixes it with love and makes the, the world taste good. Taste good. Professor Major Court said I could stop by this morning for a trumpet lesson. Trumpet? Me! Okay, Kev, I think you're the last holdout. Now, what are you going to take up? I think I'm going to try the saxophone. Great! You guys can join Katie and Janessa and be the horn section for our band. We needed more horns. Five seconds left on the clip. Four, three, two, and cue them. Well, kiddos, that's all we have time for on today's episode of Kid Songs TV Show, the one and only show made by kids, for kids, and starring kids. And Biggles! See ya!